right, for word problems, um, the first thing you should try and do is identify um, the variables here. And so we've given that we've got to find two consecutive even, and even's a keyword here, integers such that the square of the second decreased by twice the first is 52. So before you try and dis decipher all of that, um, just realize that you've got two integers, they're consecutive, so consecutive integers are going to be one after another, and in this case, since they're even, uh, examples of two consecutive integers are 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. So if we say let x represent the first integer, Then what we're going to do is this next the the consecutive integer or the next integer after this is going to be two more. So we're going to say let x plus two, and I'm just going to abbreviate this for time, represent the second integer. Now, if we we're told that the square of the second Okay, so the square of the second, so the second integer is x plus 2, so I'm going to write that as x plus 2 squared is the square of the second integer, decreased by twice the first. So twice the first would be 2x, and that means, decrease means that we're going to subtract 2x from the x, the x plus 2 squared, and is 52, so that equals 52. And that's going to be the toughest part of doing a question like this. So now we have to square this, and I'm going to use the shortcut, so it's just going to be x squared plus, and since we're um, squaring a binomial, it's going to be 4x plus 4, you could use FOIL if you want, equals 52. We simplify, so we're going to subtract uh, 2x from 4x, so, and we're going to subtract 52 from both sides. And this becomes x squared plus 2x plus um, 4 minus 52 would be negative 48 is equal to 0. So now we have um, a trinomial that we can factor. And we have, we're looking for two numbers that have a sum of 2 and a product of negative 48. So when we factor this, we end up with x plus 8 times x minus 6. And this is why you really need to practice your factoring. And so there's two possible answers here. x can equal negative 8 and x can equal 6. And so in this case, x plus 2 is equal to negative 6, and here x plus 2 is equal to positive 8. And so if you check um, negative 6 squared is our second integer, so negative 6 squared is 36 um, decreased sorry, negative, uh, negative 6 squared decreased by negative 8, uh, 2 times negative 8, equals 52 is what the question says it should be. This is, now remember, should put brackets around this, so this is 36 minus um, 2 times uh, negative 8 was, is negative 16, so this is going to end up being plus 16, is equal to 52, so 52 is equal to 52, left side and right side check out. Uh, here, our second integer squared is going to be 8 squared is, is that right? Eight, uh, um, 8 squared is 64, decreased by 2 times the second integer, so that would be 2 times 6 is equal to 52, and 64 minus 12 
So 52 equals 52. So therefore, the two integers, two consecutive integers, are, and there's two answers here, negative 8 and negative 6, and six, positive 6 and positive 8.